This is pre-Netflix me. I woke up smiling in the mornings, going outside talking to people. I read book after book. Life was good. But then, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Wait, hold on, no, that's not right. Um, everything changed when my mother started a free trial of Netflix. It begins with one series, such a simple and cunning tactic. You begin to have other series on the side, your sitcoms, dramas, action shows, all piling up. After all, you need a little of everything. Then you get a free afternoon, and like a heroin addict, you just can't get enough of the next button. 26 episodes, one season later, it's dark out. But you don't care. Five side characters died, two came back, the main character cheats on the love of her life, and that finale. Play next season. This is your life now. Episode after episode, series after series, your nights are restless, your social life is on total shutdown, and no, you do not go outside. Are you allowed to play outside? No! <laughs> At first, you think you're just fine. You watch a lot of TV, that's all. But one day, one day, you will be halfway through season four of How I Met Your Mother, and it'll hit you. What are you doing with your life? You spent your entire weekend watching a sitcom. Then you try to escape the question by watching more episodes, and a vicious cycle begins. But then, for just a brief moment, you can escape. For a second, one of Barney's pickup lines doesn't make you groan. And then you begin writing, or reading, or knitting, or even getting dressed. This is post-Netflix me. Still an addict, but claiming back productivity and piecing together a social life again. And yes, I knit my way out of the cycle. As a wise man once said, Netflix will always be there to welcome you home. But please, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.